Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. It's Isaac and today we are filming a makeup tutorial again. Wow. Woo. Like, I want to recreate a James Charles makeup tutorial from like a really long time ago. So he did this like lightning look all over his face a while ago back. <laughs> back in the day when he was like still doing makeup tutorials often, when makeup tutorials were still a thing. So we're gonna go in with the James Charles palette today because we stand James Charles. James Charles is thriving in the beauty community. He's doing amazing, he's thriving right now. He's not in any hot water, so we're gonna use this palette. <laughs> Kinda wanna film a TikTok at the same time, you guys. I love TikTok so much, oh my God. If you don't follow me on TikTok, Isaac Halverson 7, go follow me. It's my like shit, you guys. I love TikTok. I think I wanna use this shade, kinda like mix these two around and just kinda like throw it across my face, if that makes sense. Start packing on some shadows. I'm using this on a nice Morphe brush. Don't know what kind this is, I'm not gonna lie. It was like from the bundle pack and it's honestly not that great of a brush. So like, I don't know why I'm recommending it. It's like, okay, but like I've used way better brushes. I wanna like start with the eye area first. It's gonna be a lot of blue around our face so we don't have to keep this super clean or anything like that. It's like my least two used colors in my palette right now. So I'm kind of happy I'm gonna just kind of pop this all over my face. I don't know why I contoured and put blush on and everything because literally I'm gonna cover it up with blue, I feel like. So, um, <laughs> this should be quite interesting. I'm gonna really just kind of buff this out into the brow bone. Do not have to be precise with this. I want this to be super simple, super easy. I watched his like video before I started doing this tutorials so I kind of have like an idea in my head what I want to do. I remember one time I tried to recreate this look and it came out so bad like the lightning bolts I did were just like way too thick like I was like oh my god why did I even post this but you know what trial and error ladies and gentlemen trial and error practice makes perfect. I'm also working two jobs that's an update so um yeah I'm not posting as much because of the two job situation. I try to do an eyelash company on the side and oh my God, you guys, I have been working my ass off, I feel like this past month. I'm also working at a dispensary. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that on YouTube. I'm also, I'm working at Starbucks because fuck McDonald's sideways. They were the worst company to work for. I'll never work for them again. Terrible company. It was a good starting job, like, don't get me wrong. It, it definitely got me, like, the experience I needed and, like, so I wasn't gonna be, like, a deer in headlights at any other job. <laughs> and it definitely gives you a good work ethic, McDonald's, but holy crap, the torture of working there from the customers to the management to the employees is just toxic. It's absolutely toxic. I feel like this needs to be a dedicated story time video, McHorror story, <laughs> working at McDonald's, like a full Tana Mojo fucking story time moment. And cause like that, oh, the, the stuff I went through, I worked at that McDonald's for five years, you guys. It was insane. Like, I don't know how I did it to myself working at, working at that place for so long. Like, I would never do something like that to myself again. Like, if you could put up with this shit at McDonald's for five years, you could put up with this shit anywhere, basically, I think, in my head. Like, the abuse from the customers, the abuse from the management I put up with, they literally charged me like $150 for my uniform when I left. And then they were like, I called, like, I messaged them and I was like, do you guys like still want your uniform back? Cause I don't want to get docked on this uniform thing. And they were like, no, we don't want it back. The pay stuff already went through. And then they like took $150 off my final check for my uniform. So I went and filed an ESB complaint against them. And hopefully in a couple of months, I'll get that $150 back because it's absolutely 
a crock of shit. <laughs> I feel like it's illegal in the place. I think it's illegal in Canada and BC to charge for a uniform. Like I think the most we have to pay for is our own like shoes, work shoes and yeah, I think that's it. Like work shoes and I think there's like one other thing but it's not your work uniform. Right here looking so patchy. But you know what? It's okay because it's just like a starry, cloudy sky night thingy that we're doing. So it doesn't need to be like a perfect sky. I always notice that in his palette, like these blues do not stick well to a concealer or like foundation. Like, do you see that right there? It is just not sticking right there. Period. That the little face tune can't fix. Y'all, and working at a weed store on top of everything, like Starbucks, oh my god, fucking difficult, first of all, when I was first working there. It's really easy now that, like, I know how to make all, most of the drinks, I think. Oh, god, I, I think I'm, I literally wing half the shit I do. I swear to fucking god, like, this look, even, I'm just winging it. I'm just kind of going with it. Starbucks, wing my fucking work life there. Oh my god, I'm swearing so much. And then, oh my god, the dispensary, the training, nothing like McDonald's or like Starbucks. You kind of just got to figure it out for yourself, to be honest. And it's pretty basic. It's pretty like common sense kind of deal. But like, I think starting at a dispensary would not be a good first job for anyone. Mm, computer fan. I would not suggest working at a dispensary for your first job. Like there's no training. It's a bunch of fucking stoners, so like, <laughs> training's not that great, <laughs> to be honest. Oh, uh, yeah. It, today I like sold a vape cartridge. It was like the last five minutes of my shift. I was thriving. It was like the last five minutes of my shift. I was doing so good, and then this guy wanted to buy like a cartridge for his like weed pen and you can like refill them and stuff and like i didn't know that like there was like different weed pens so there's like ones that like look like jewels too and then there's like stick ones that you like just like twist on a capsule thing and then the jewel one you kind of it's like a like the jewel when you replace the pods so it comes with pods and i accidentally gave him pods and he came back with them and he opened them all up and i was like I didn't think anything of it. I was like, oh yeah, we'll replace that for you right away. And then like, I'm at the dispensary by myself, right? So like, I'm just trying to make it right for the customer, you know? Like, I don't want to like make him mad because he just paid $60 for this weed shit or stuff, cartridge thing, whatever. And I sold him the wrong one. So I gave him the right one and it was all opened up and everything like that. So I like, started freaking out, like deep down inside. Like I started like freaking out. I was like, oh my God. I was like, is there even like a return or like an exchange policy in a dispensary? Like what's, how does this work? I was like, oh my God. So I like started like calling one of my coworkers. Now that you've spent half an hour blending no blue all over your face, we're gonna take some of the black in his palette right up here. And I'm gonna take this on an angled Sephora brush. I love this brush, it's a really good brush. Deepen up these outer corners and add a little bit of depth into this look. Cause we want that dark cloudy sky effect. So we wanna just kind of add a little bit of depth right here in that outer corner. Ah, oh, yes. That black just did it for me. It looks marvelous. You need to blend out that nose contour. Cause it's looking a little rough. Oh my God, nose contouring takes literally a decade. So just like take your time with this one girls. And I'm just gonna take this gorgeous sky blue in here. I love this baby blue in the palette. It's like a nice, metallic shade it's so creamy very very pigmented and we're just gonna pop this in our inner corner and we're going to use this to highlight so all over the inner corners and we could do the top of the cheekbones if we wanted to but i think i'm going to avoid the cheekbones i'm going to do a little bit on the tip of the nose and I'm not gonna do the cheekbones because I really wanna have that lightning moment going across my face and 
the white splotches and everything. We're gonna take a Anastasia brush from their like palettes. It's like they're really shitty brushes that they have in their palettes. They're super, super terrible brushes, not gonna lie. And I think I'm just gonna use this to kind of like stipple on some clouds and kind of highlight the area. Yeah, see, like that. Yeah, that looks good. So now I'm gonna take my P. Louise Acid Rain brush, and you guys, these brushes are so bomb. Like, I 10 out of 10 recommend investing in these. These are so good. They're so detailed, and they're just like perfect for this. So we're just gonna draw some lightning bolts, basically. I don't know what I was trying to say right there. Oh my god, I like froze. And you want to make these really tiny the first time I did this. Oh my god, it was a shit show. Make them tiny but messy. And like lightning's not perfect either, so kind of just swivel it across your face everywhere. Boom. Oh my god. <laughs> and the look is complete. What do you guys think? I think it looks so freaking good. Okay, like I'm so impressed. The first time I did this, it looked terrible the first time I did it. Like, not bad, but the lines, oh my god, were way too thick. I think I left it on my channel, so like, this is like an updated version of it, and I'm really, really happy with how it came out. So I popped on my lashes in the style Empress from Fantasy Cosmetics. I'll leave a link to the website down below if you want to go shop my lashes. I have like six different styles, and you can use the code MUA to save 30% off of your purchase. So go click that link down below, go shop my lashes, ladies, yas, and gentlemen, yas. <laughs> go shop these lashes, they're fucking bomb. So yeah, narcissistic montage. I'm really happy with how this look came out down. And I also popped on lip gloss, I almost forgot about that. I popped on some lip gloss and I added a little bit like red lipstick just in the center of my lips, just to kind of add a little bit of color back to my lips, so. This is a look. This is a fucking look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You guys know the drill with that. And I hope to see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>